Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and simply applying that with clean hands all over my face. Moving on to the brows, this is the Brow Beater from Urban Decay in the color Dark. And I am simply going to be using this in light feathery strokes in order to shape and darken my brow. And then just simply setting my brows using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Next, moving on to primer, this is the Stay Don't Stray Primer from Benefit. I am simply going to be applying that onto my lids and then just blending it in using my ring finger. This is going to cover up the natural pigment on my lids and also prep my lids to get them nice and ready for shadow application. Using the pressed powder from NARS, this is in the shade Mountain, I'm going to be applying that onto my entire lid from lash line to brow bone. And this is not only going to further set my eye, but it's also going to help with the blending process. Using the Natural Matte Palette from Too Faced, I'm going to start off with the shade Honey Butter and apply that onto my crease using circular windshield wiping motions as I typically do. And of course, since this is a nice, light, warm color to start off the look, this will also serve as my transition shade. Using the shade Chocolate Cookie and the same big blending brush as in my previous step, I'm going to be repeating the steps but mainly concentrating that shade on the outer portion of my eye. So not dragging it in toward the inner corner but mainly just keeping it on the outer portion. Now going in with a more precise, smaller blending brush, but with the same color as the previous step, so chocolate cookie, I'm simply going to be packing that on more on the outer V and dragging that color in a little bit onto the crease. And then taking my initial blending brush in order to blend out any harsh edges that may have been left behind. Using the shade Amber Lights from MAC, I'm going to be applying it with a synthetic brush onto the entire mobile lid area, excluding the outer V. So, and I am going to be doing this with a dry brush and I'm going to be applying the shadow dry, which I know isn't typically like me. I like shimmery shadows to be applied wet just because I know that it intensifies and it makes those colors really pop and look fantastic. But since I wanted the liner to be the focal point and not the shadows, I went ahead and just applied it dry. However, I must say that I loved it just as much dry as I do when I apply it wet. For liner, I'm going to give myself a winged line using Pure Minerals Double Ego Liner. I loved the concept because it has a pencil side and it has a liquid side and it is amazing aside from the fact that it stains. I don't know if it's just this color, I don't know if it's every single color of theirs, uh, but it stains and it stains pretty bad. If you follow me on Snapchat, you kind of saw a preview of this, so I had it on my fingers. It, I finally was able to kind of take it all completely off of my eyes so it didn't stain for days but I did have to pull out the big dogs and like the coconut oil and the Clinique take the day off like I had to use quite a few things to try to get it all completely off which it didn't come off completely but I really loved this color so if you any of you have any suggestions on a different brand that doesn't stain that has a similar shade please, please, please let me know because I really, really, really love the color. And I, like I said, I love the whole idea. I love the concept, but it was just, there's something in it that makes it to where taking it off is almost impossible. So if you're going to recreate the look, I would probably steer clear from this particular product. For lashes today, I am using the Featherit Lashes from the House of Lashes. Using the Porefessional Pore Filler from Benefit, I am simply going to take some of that and apply it onto the areas of my face where I wish to no longer have pores. So yeah, the sides of my nose and kind of just a little bit on my nose. So I mainly focus on the sides and I simply just press it in. So I press the product in. I don't know, to me in my head, that kind of makes a difference. So instead of just rubbing it back and forth, I first start off by pressing it in and then just slightly dabbing with clean hands, of course. Then of course, totally not necessary for every single person, but it is for me, color correcting the under eye area using my trusty Becca under eye brightening corrector. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Forever Foundation from Dior, and I am in the shade 031. Simply applying it with my finger and then just dabbing it and blending it out with my beauty blender. 
For concealer today, I'm going to be using MAC Mineralize Concealer. This is in the shade NC35 and simply applying that onto my entire under eye area. And then of course blending it all out using my damp beauty blender. To set the under eye area, because you know I've got to set the under eye area, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and just dabbing some of that onto the portions that I want set. So underneath my eyes and lately, well for the last few months I've also been setting my laugh lines because let's face it, who wants lines there increasing there? No one. Using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit, I'm going to be applying that using a contouring brush onto the hollows of my cheeks and then just swirling the brush upward so that it gives me a nice bronze color too. So initially I'm applying it onto the hollows of my cheeks and then as you can see I like swirl the brush upward so that it all blends upward nice and softly and it's not a harsh line. You can't really tell where you know your contour line ends and where the bronzing begins. It all just blends really well together. For blush today, I'm going to be using Pink Kiss from Estee Lauder. I chose this specific color because it is a really subtle soft pink. And I figured since the eyeliner was already really loud with the color and I was really loud with the lip color that I would tone it down for the cheeks. For highlight, I am using this Becca palette and I am taking two shades, the color Pearl and the color Champagne Pop and applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and onto the high points of my cheeks. Also going to be doing it onto the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Using the Amazonian Clay Liner from Tarte, I'm taking the shade Sunstone Bronze and applying that onto my entire waterline. Using my flat defining brush, I'm going back into the palette, grabbing chocolate cookie once again and running that along my entire bottom lash line. Going back to the highlight palette, I'm going to be placing the color champagne pop onto the inner corners of my eyes to really brighten that area. Next, moving on to mascara. This one is Sumptuous Extreme Mascara from Estee Lauder in black. I'm just simply using that in order to blend my false lashes to my real lashes up top and also really going to work on my bottom lashes to really help them stand out as well. For the lips, I am using this MAC lipstick and this is in the shade Violetta or Violetta, however you want to pronounce that. If you happen to be looking for something bold, beautiful, and bright for the summer, I would say look no further than this color or something similar to it. And then lastly, just spritzing my face with some MAC Fix Plus to finish it off. And that completes the look. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I always enjoy making these for you. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video.